Fresh from the Horrors, and this is my Mustang GT preset. It's called Non Lin Verb, it's a non linear reverb. I first started like, exploring guitar tone pretty much from the offset. I think one of the first things I did was buy a like, multi effects pedal, and after that, buy several other small pedals. When I realised you could get so much more out of it, so many more tones, so many more textures, um, I quickly gravitated towards that style of playing. It's kind of my job in my band, like I'm the guitarist, but I'm not allowed to play anything that sounds like a guitar. I find that much too boring. I first started building pedals like, completely out of necessity. Um, I really wanted to have access to tones that you couldn't get because people weren't building clones of stuff and you had to like, find the original one. So, yeah, I really wanted the Univox Super Fuzz because this was the pedal that Poison Ivy had. Poison Ivy's got the best guitar tone I've ever heard. Yeah, and then from then I ended up writing computer programs to do effects as well and start building reverbs and things like that. So the basis of the patch is just a 60s British amp model and then it's just a series of delays. This is the first delay, which is a mono delay, set of 30 milliseconds. It's a very short delay, it's basically on the verge of being able to tell if it's two separate things or just one thing combined. The second one's another mono delay, so that's 76 milliseconds. So now, every time I hit the strings, I'll have four things come out. The third one is the mono tape delay, which is a set of 100 milliseconds. That's maximum wow. So I've used the wow parameter to gently modulate the delay time. So it's boosting and attenuating different frequencies as it goes on. This gives the sound more life and animates it more and stops it sounding too much like a, a stuck flange or whatever. The fourth delay is the, uh, the 2290 delay, which I've got about 145 milliseconds. This I've used modulation again, the same way I did with the tape one, to change which frequencies have been attenuated and boosted to help keep the sound neutral. This goes into a 60s British amp, which is set for medium gain. And finally, I have the last delay is a stereo tape that's placed after the amp, obviously, to help keep it stereo. This is at 171 milliseconds, and with this now, we have 32 repeats. Now, because there's so many repeats, everything starts smearing into each other. And as the bends smear into each other, it completely destroys the transient and it stops it sounding so much like a guitar, basically. <laughs> <laughs>